Hello everyone, Snowden here. Welcome to my family's Minecraft server. I want to show you around and take a look at all the cool builds we've done over the years. We started this server early in 2020 and we've been working on it somewhat consistently throughout the last two years and a lot of cool stuff to show. So take a look. We're going to go chronologically as far as the builds go. So this is kind of where me and my mom started out. Uh, she worked on all the fields and the gardens outside the front. And I'm mainly focused on inside this mountain here. But we can head on in through the door, take a look. This is where our beds used to be. Uh, there's only one right now, but we used to have both our beds here, some item storage. As you can see, we left a good amount of our mined valuables behind. And down here would be into the mines. Uh, but we're not going to go down there yet because we'll do a section of the video about all the underground tunnels on the server, which there's a lot of them. Uh, but for right now, let's take a look. This is our kind of main work area. We had a kind of basic furnace set up and our anvil on a cool little uh, floor part. And we were playing around with armor stands. I think that's the only armor stand on the server. Enchanting room and some item storage where we sorted out. Uh, this is like the first sorted items that I ever made. Uh, and then here's another way you can enter the base. So we were just out here in the gardens. It's just another entrance that you can go in through. Got the wool on the sides of the floor. And here's a kind of inside garden that I worked on. Tried to make it look kind of like, uh, I don't know, nature, but inside the building. And you could do go down this little path to this tree here and just feel like you're outside, but you're safe from the monsters, uh, even though you're in nature. And I do believe there's a little window up there that you can see the, uh, the trees from out there. Yep, so you can see from outside. You could look in and, and think, ooh, what's this mysterious cool trees inside? Let me go take a look. So moving on, uh, we got the stairs going up here, and this is the library that we first come to. We got some tables, some books, some uh, stuff here. This was, I was working on like a little computer display, but uh, I guess we never figured out the keyboard type thing. Uh, and then I ran out of bookshelves, because back then we hadn't done any farms or anything, so the bookshelves was just from like hand mining the cows and the and the sugar cane from out there. And then this window was designed so that the moon would... Yep, it's coming down. So the moon will line up with this window so you could be in the library at night. And uh, we'll come back to look at the moon once it, uh, once it gets in position. Just uh, experimenting with cactus here. Uh, before we go up there, actually, finish this floor. So you go, you can see down there the item storage from up here. This is the first tree farm I made. Uh, and this is just a natural part of the mountain that uh, I mined out that kind of look over and see the gardens. And it's a pretty cool view. And another place that was unfinished right here. All right. So let's go upstairs, and this was never finished either, but this is just like the next area. See that we lit it up, and we got some pet sheep around, and we started the lights, but mainly it was just uh, hollowing out the mountain. And last room on this floor is the, the takeout, or take off area for the rockets. So this was like kind of a, for people flying around, could enter through there if you were flying instead of coming in on foot. Uh, let's see if the moon's in position. It's coming down, it's coming down. You get the idea. The moon would be like in the window. So we got some other builds around here. Uh, this was the, the one that we spent the most time on, but if we walk down here, 
Don't trample the crops. It is a little bit dangerous, but comes to this little uh, structure. This is our nether portal. And my mom worked on this room. You can see it's got kind of like cave details. We got slagmites coming down. Uh, this is still at the time of this recording before the... Actually, we the slagmites are in the game, but we just haven't found them. Uh, it's like a custom nether portal room that leads you down. You got some little stones on the floor. And then there's the portal in the cave. Uh, but the nether will be a separate section of the video, so we're not going to go in there yet. Uh, we'll save that for later, because the nether has a lot of development as well. Uh, okay. And obviously, we abandoned this area before we ever lit it up fully. Okay, so we have our sheep collection. That's how we were able to make the, the wool floors in there. We got cows over there. I mean, pigs over there, cows over there. Um, and some building in the distance. We'll check that in a moment. But the uh, the other building that was getting made while we were doing this was Ben's base, my brother. So he says chicken over there. And if you've ever seen the Mad Chicken Scientist video, one of the first videos on this channel, uh, you, you might think, oh, he's doing like chicken experiments over there. Um, but then when we said that to him, he said, oh, it, it's a family name. Um, so this is Ben's base. I'm trying not to blow it up from the creeper. Um, and if I can figure out how to get inside. Yep, here we go. Um, I know it's underground, but I just need to figure out how to get there. Oh, not that way. Uh, hmm. Just working on some sort of uh, roller coaster design. Well, it's fine to say there is an underground portion to that base, but it might be too difficult for me to figure out how to get down there. Um. Here's an unfinished build from an unknown player who joined our server. Uh, looks like they're working on banners. I actually, I do not know who made this. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a short list of people who are on the server, but not sure which one of them made that. Um, and then near this village is my friend Brian, who joined for a short time. His base, he made like a flower valley. And these are all hand-picked flowers that he got from the surrounding area. And he built this cool looking base. Uh, whoa. All right, we're gonna go on foot because that's just not working. If I remember correctly, there is a path around here somewhere. And here we go, Brian's starter base, his bed, and this cool bridge uh, that goes across the flower valley and see all the cool flowers that he collected. All right, so let's fly back. We're going to take a look at the last build in the spawn area. Oh, sorry, it's not the last build. That is a tower that Ben built to assault the villager tower. So does it defended by all these spiky plants. And I don't know how he got in there, but I I believe he used this to lay siege to the enemies over there and we we raided that and we almost died. I think I actually died uh, fighting in there. And then over here, we have the welcome center for the server. So ideally, you would spawn inside this. But in practice, I've seen people spawn like right here, uh, which is fine to get blown up. But hopefully, you'd see that there's shelter to take here. And uh, we came back here after a while playing and 
our other bases to build this as a little welcome area for new players who are joining. And we got some rules here. Now you can pause the video and read them. And just some uh, random items that we left behind when we were building. And why is there some dirt here? I put that in the chest. Another building that's here is the map area. So this is the map of the server. My mom's been working on this building. We built it and she's been working on the map as well. And if I can find where we are right now, it is, I want to say here, because that's Ben's arena with, uh, near the chicken base, which means that would be the spawn mountain, the village, Brian's base, somewhere around here. Uh, and then we have our railway that goes out. Here's our main base, which is the desert. And that was actually our third base that we made. So our second base is the Seaside Village, which we're going to head to next, uh, right there. Okay. So to get to the Seaside Village without using the nether, we have a minecart railway. That goes all the way there, but we're going to need a minecart. All right, so we got ourselves a minecart and we're about to leave the spawn area. And we're gonna head to the next base that we had, which is the seaside town. Coming up on the right, we have the horse field where we gathered our first horses on the server and a little house that uh, was built as just an outpost. You can still see some of the original horses out there grazing in the fields. Okay, we're approaching the desert base, which we're going to ride past it because that was the third base and uh, we're going chronologically. And you can see first the flight rings. So there's an electric course that goes around the city and as we get closer you can see the wall that protects the city and as well as the castle, which we'll explore further once we get into the desert base. As you can see, there's a lot more buildings here as we spent most of our time on the server playing at the desert base. But let's forget about that for now, put that to the side as we head on down the minecart line to the Seaside Village. I will mention, however, that there is the aquarium here. Ben built this cool aquarium that he passed through, and he collected every tropical fish and put it in that aquarium. So you could have a cool sight to see when you go down the minecart line. And here's the elytra rings on the edge of the city, uh, the other end of the elytra course. That goes around the whole city. And that offshoot of the line, is there's no rail on it, but it goes out to our stronghold and the end portal, uh, which we will explore later on.
And on the left we see uh, wheat fields and the village that Ben worked on. And what we have there is our mending book and a lot of other cool books for sale. Uh, <laughs> we can't see it now, but you'll use your imagination. We've got a bunch of villagers that Ben worked on to get all books that we need for our fancy tools. Here's one of my favorite parts of the railway. This is just a corner turn that me and my mom made a garden so that while you're riding on the rails, you can see a cool garden as you pass by. Now we're getting close to an actual uh, base that is along the railway, but this base, I'm going to consider it part of the underground infrastructure of the server. So we'll come back later and we'll explore this base that my mom made inside these mountains. We can, however, look through the window as we go by and get an idea of what cool things are inside there that we'll get to explore later on. First thing we see as we approach the seaside village is these cool nether islands that Ben worked on uh, back when the nether update first came out, which was a little bit, a few months after the server was made. Uh, we got access to these cool blocks and you can see the turtles they really like the blue uh, nether themed island blocks. I think that their green shells go well with it as well. Alright. Let our minecart go to a stop there. And let's take a look. Here's our map wall. So all of our areas have one, but you can see that this one is more filled out than the one at spawn. And right now we've traveled from the spawn right around there, up down the railway, all the way past the desert, and all the way further down, and now we are right about here on the map, next to the big ocean, which is out that way. Okay, so I'm going to hop back in the minecart for the final bits of the rail because, uh, oh my gosh, I can't go that slow though, let's go. Let's, I just want to see us enter the, the train station here, because I think it looks cool. Okay. And boom, into the train station, and we'll collect our minecart for further use. So we get here, we're inside the arrivals of the train station and outside we got lots and lots of farms and stuff before we head to the main area of the town I just want to check out the outskirts so we have this bridge that goes over to where we were experimenting with banners and here we collected some sheep all along these hills we have different fenced off areas for different types of sheep that we put together And then in here, this is the first magma block I ever placed when they were new. Uh, I still think they look pretty cool. And this is our workstation where we can make all kinds of different banners and stuff. And the loom. Okay. Oh. Good. Didn't break the crops. Okay. Back inside the train station. You can exit through this way. And we can see the seaside village. We'll start off with my first base here. So this was my first base here. And all it is is really just a bed. And I'm going to try to see if I can get it to stop raining. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. Um, oh, yes, it did. 
Nice. So a new morning here at the Seaside Village. And here is Ben's pirate pub. You go inside. I think that there's drinks. Yep. There's a excellent drink you can get at the pub. And these are, I guess, like the bar stools. Here's some more, some more drinks. And we used to keep our valuables in this chest. I remember there was like, this is where you could go and get a diamond or two. Oh, here it is. Uh, yeah, we used to keep like uh, all our valuable items there. And if you want to have some lunch out on the outer seating, come out here and pick a table under the mushroom umbrellas. And out there we see a lighthouse and a yacht. Um, this yacht is a build that I copied from a YouTube video, but we'll go check it out in a little bit. And that is a guardian farm. Um, actually, let's just go look at it right now. We'll come right back to the, to the village. So here's the yacht again, not my own build, but uh, copied it from a YouTube video because when we were building the guardian farm, we needed a base of operations. So I thought, well, why don't we make like a boat? And I love it. Like there's like bathrooms and stuff in here. Um, you know, all the stuff we needed to prepare. I made one room for my mom and my brother and myself. And here's our helmets that we were using to go underwater with, uh, being able to breathe underwater and the main operation area. Wow, that's a, that's a good trident we left there. And this is the potion brewing area where we made all our water breathing potions before we went down to, to, uh, to deal with the ocean monument that we were draining. Oof. Ben's lighthouse here. I think it's still a work in progress, but wow, does it look cool inside. I love the, the spiraling stairs. It's very MC Usher. Okay, so this is the kind of ocean monument farm that you do not have to drain it, uh, but you have to uh, AFK up here on a platform. So I can land on it. If you land up here, then you can see they're all spawning because you're the right distance away. Unfortunately, some other creatures do get uh, killed by this, which has led Ben to suggest that uh, this is an unethical practice. And when he saw one of the the blocks that we made from it, one of the prismarine, he said, ooh, I think I see a little uh, dolphin bone in there. So there's some lore here. The, uh, unethical sourcing of some of our blocks that we use. Heading back to the seaside village, we started on the side here. So we have a greenhouse that was made by uh, one of Ben's co-workers who joined and this is the only build they made but it was a pretty cool contribution to the server. And you can see they collected all kinds of flowers and they put them on these tables in here and it has a very greenhouse feeling like I could almost smell the plants when I was in there walking along the tables. Uh, and up next, uh, okay I think this is actually his other house so he, he made two builds. This is a uh, Ben's co-worker's house here. It's like they were playing with some dried kelp blocks. And then we have my mom's fishing house. So what she would do is go up these stairs here and go out onto the fishing balcony and cast her rod out into the ocean near the docks. This build here is made by Ben. This is the library. And I love how it's like hovering uh, and that the floor, you can see everything's hovering here. Uh, here's where we would do our enchanting uh, during this stage of our Minecraft life. And here we would do our smelting. Still got a lot of coal here. 
Ooh. Yeah, this is just kind of like the work area along the path here. And then this is the fishing dock inspired by uh, that pirate game that everyone loves that I forget is what it's called. Um, Curse of Monkey Island. That's it. So it's like a little pirate dock area. These cows used to be up higher and when we terraformed it to get a kind of more flat area, we had the great cow lowering where me and Ben had to remove the dirt blocks under the cows and gradually lower them all down to the ground uh, and then make sure they were still walled in. All right, so down here goes to the mines, but uh, we are not going to go down there because that would be part of the underground, which we're not going to yet today. Coming up here, this is a potion area, a nether wart farm. This used to be something else, and now I can't even remember uh, what I originally made this for. I want to say it was like a tree farm or something, but uh, then Ben repurposed the inside. Uh, for vines and nether wart. All right. There's also our storage area. So this time around, uh, I made this storage area of more circular design. So you could stand in the middle and kind of have access to everything around. And back then, we didn't have too much stuff. So. A, st a smaller storage area like this was totally fine. And holy moly, that is a lot of lapis. I'll have to keep that in mind uh, if I ever need lapis to come over here. And a lot of diamonds. As you can see, we leave a lot of stuff around on the server. Hi. Got a lot of food here, too. This is, this is an abundance. Okay. So we'll go down the path and, you know, my mom once again put in all the work for the plants and the gardens that you see. Uh, if there's ever any kind of plants or like garden path like what we're seeing here, it's usually my mom's handiwork. Uh, we got a kind of basic chicken farm in here and one has escaped. Chicken run. Uh, let's check out the garden. So there's a little bit of a garden path here. Walk along and see all the kinds of different plants and bees were uh, we started kind of playing with bees around this time and learning how they work and over there is the wool area that we looked at before um, and I believe this big tree yep there's the big jungle tree I'm kind of walking off the path here I'll have to check myself for ticks later um, we got the little stream that goes through the area And then on the outskirts of town here, our last few buildings to check out in this area. We have uh, a little house that I made while I was building this uh, tree farm here. So this is, fly around and just take a look at it. Okay. So this is uh, an automatic collecting tree farm. So what you would do is you would chop these trees. And then I remember thinking, oh, I hate picking up the saplings. I wish there was some way they could collect. So I copied the design of the farm from, from a, a YouTube video. And most of the saplings do fall and go into the hoppers and you can collect them here and turn the water on or off by flicking the lever. I got the redstone wrong, so you have to flick it twice. Uh, I have no idea why, but it works. So, leave it off for now. And here's the, just a little bed area for when I was building the farm. It's a lot of dirt, I'll have to keep that in mind. And another portal to access. One other thing is that we fenced off this holy area because this cross spawned naturally. Uh, so, Ben's like, oh, it's sacred ground, we have to protect it. So we built a little fence around it. 
And then out here by the turtles is what my mom calls Turtle Bay. And you can see all these turtles swimming around in the bay, which is, of course, where it got its name. And down here is the entrance to an underground base, which sneak peek you can see, but we'll explore these in the underground bases episode. One thing I'll show you though is there's a cool window here into the ocean. So if we come down here, we can kind of see the base in there. Uh, we'll check that out later on. And I think that pretty much wraps up the island, or not the island, the, um, the seaside village. Let's do one fly around, kind of take a look one last time. And then we can go ahead to check out the desert area. But uh, we're going to have to do that in another video because I get tired if I talk for too long. And that has definitely happened today. So I hope you've enjoyed part one of the Minecraft server, uh, family server tour. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.